rainforest now, though. Very fucking cool.
I get to camp before dark. <laughs>
there's a jump there. Rattling the bruise again. Yeah, so we made it to the west side. Eight kilometers that way. Eight, 
Egal. Papa! Yeah! <laughs> How good! So where's the camp? It's shallow over here, bruh. Our camp was Boaratty, I think that's how you say it, maybe not. Um, had to just cross these tiny creeks to get there. Um, the first one was kind of wider and um, nothing in the bottom, just sand. There was no like, like rocks or anything. Um, so yeah, we cruised through that one. It's probably foot peg deep, I don't know. It wasn't very deep. Um, cruised up the beach another couple of hundred meters and then we had to cross another little one just to get into our site because there's a couple of sites there um, I went through first and noticed there was like a little bit of a rock in the water um, but yeah um, Bryce unfortunately hit the rock and laid his bike over for a second in the water. Um, and then I think he had a couple of warning lights show up, but it wasn't drowned. There wasn't any water ingress, thankfully. So eventually it just fired up and yeah, just camp was right there. So um, all was well. Um, yeah, just rolled in, set camp up, made some dinner. Everyone was pretty tired. Um, drunk the beers and then yeah just kind of went to bed um, it was good so day two was windy conditions again uh, not sure about the kilometers but it was windy so 
yeah, we kind of got up in the morning, packed up in the wind, like sand everywhere. Um, everyone's excited, like, let's go, let's go get some breakfast somewhere. Um, you know, spirits were good. Um, so yeah, everybody packed up, just jumped on the bikes, had those, had those water crossings though, straight off the bat. Um, pretty easy to get through that one near our camp, like that was no trouble. Um, Josh had marked a line for us to follow that didn't really have any rocks, so that was good. Everyone got through that clean as a whistle. And then we cruised up the beach, a couple of hundred meters again, um, to that wider creek crossing. And we just stopped because it was deep. It would have been a meter, I'd say deep um i wasn't going to ride through it that's for sure um down at the mouth where that creek sort of met the ocean um i wouldn't have rode through that it's way too deep um and so we had to make a decision like what are we going to do um, i rode back up the beach a little bit just to suss out if that creek got shallower further back from the mouth and it did actually got wider and shallower so um, I said to the boys I think we might be able to get across here I'm not 100% sure and Bryce offered to uh, walk through it his boots were already wet from the day before so he's uh, took one for the team jumped in walked through this creek um, got to the other side and sure enough I think it was foot peg deep again but definitely you could make it That looks a lot deeper. Yeah, just in there, where those rocks are. Josh wrote it first, uh, which was cool. So he's just sent it straight through, nice pace. Um, just before you got to the other side, it got super deep for a second. Um, I don't know how much deeper it was. It's just hard to say, but yeah, it sort of like dropped off and then you had to climb up like the wall because uh, it was quite banked on the other side. So he kind of like did a really good job of that and made it out like clean as. Um, and then it was my turn. So I just rode through steady pace. Um, one thing that I didn't do before this trip was routing my carb breather lines up above my, like underneath my seat where the battery is um, because they're still venting below the swing arm at the moment. Um, so sure enough, you know, I start getting that bogging because it's not breathing. So it's like gonna lose, it's gonna lose power. It's gonna turn off at some point here. Um, and it happened right when I got to the super deep section as you're coming on the exit. So I just kind of like 
jumped off and laid the bike over on the sandbank and kept the kept the air filter dry thankfully um and then yeah it's kind of like josh helped me pull it out but um yeah that was a close one that could have been no good start to the day but got it done and then uh, bryce has come through um all good just you know rode it rode it pretty well and um got up the bank um you know the 690 is a heavy bike so that was that was a good ride i think that's a that's a steep sandy bank to get out of out of the water so yeah that was a, a job well done for sure um so once we were across that creek it wasn't straightforward because we had to pick our way through some coffee rock um i was kind of like this is fine no problem like we'll just pick our way through but um the other boys weren't so keen i don't think um their bikes they're so heavy um and it's not simple to just pick your way through a rock garden on those things so um i quickly just got through and then i walked back to help the boys come through so we just did that water crossing and my gopro didn't work so that's annoying but now we're going to get through these rocks so we'll see how we go there all right let's go comes Bryce in the 690. Bryce, just pop it up. Yep, go forward. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. You need to get your front tyre over here and then your back tyre will kick around these rocks. It'll come between there. It's Just line selection. For this? Yeah, because you're not moving, it's got no airflow. I've never seen it do that before. Yep. 
Yep. Yep. That's it. Yeah, it's just coolant. It's alright, it's not hissing or anything yet, so it should be right. It happens quickly. It's still too coolant, isn't it? Yeah. Just um yeah, just turn it off when you get over there and then it should be right. It should cool down. So yeah, you know where you're going, eh? Just over the top of them. I was just wondering if I should just get off and fucking walk it beside it. If you want, yeah. If you feel safer, do that. Oh, it's just I can fucking probably see better. I can't see nothing. Once that back wheel spins and slips a little bit, you can't see where it is. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to watch your back wheel for you. So to say where it's gonna go for you. Yep. That's it, mate. Just keep going. Yep. <laughs> Josh is down. <laughs> Hang on. We're digging a hole. Hang on. Come back, come back. What you want to do, mate? See this here? Yeah. You need to try and bounce into there a little bit. Yeah. Try that again. Go back. Let me see if I can pack that. Oh no, that doesn't do shit. All right. Yeah. Oh, go forward. No. Come back, come back. Can you roll back? Nah, she jammed in there. Alright. Oh, I have to lift the front out. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. It's hard work. Is it jammed, is it? Oh, well, it didn't want to go forward. Righto, don't turn it on yet. Let's get it out. Righto. Maybe just push it, man. Because I think... Is it in neutral? It is now. Righto, a uh, bit of power now. Come up on top of that. So just go straight over the top of this rock and out here. Sit on it. No, no. Jump on. Jump on so your back wheel doesn't spin. Yep. That's it, mate. Oh. Hang on, I'll give you a little push. Just take it easy. Yeah, go. Go again. That's it now, just ride through the water. Just straight up there. You got it. How'd you go? Break my blinker. Oh. Hard enduro, mate. Not built for it, mate. Built for the trade. Not built for it. Beach enduro, they call this, I think. Huh? Beach enduro. Not a bad on this thing. Do you know where to go here? 
Don't fall into where he's got that cut out, like stay on top of the rocks. I'll try, but yeah. no You want a hand? <laughs> I think you're on, um, I think you might be on your gear lever sort of area. I think that's, just kick that back out a little bit. That's it. I'm just gonna push it over, bro, because I'm yeah. gonna drop it again. I'll push it in the back if you want. Come back a bit. All right, go. You. Oh, nice. One more. <laughs> no worries. Grabs third gear and off he goes. 